there. Um, it is first thing in the morning. Well, for me. So it's like 9.30. Uh, I'm making some coffee. And since I love to be on camera first thing in the morning, we're going to go ahead and start this thing. So, let's do it. Oh, that is some bright sun. Oh. All right, so it is the very tail end of August, which basically means it's autumn. I am over summer, I'm done with it. I am ready for pumpkins and candles and a lot of orange and, and burnt orange primarily and like faded browns and uh, not summer colors, I'm, I'm done. I am so excited for this project, you have no idea. I really just want to look like a cottagecore witch. Like that's, that's my goal. So I picked up a pattern for some, they call it, they call it a corset. I call it like a bustier or maybe, maybe like modern stays. I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, but. I want to do this one and I got uh, a couple fabrics to do that so I'm hoping to do two uh, two different corset bustier stays things um, <laughs> and I want to make them reversible so I want to have one that's brown and cream and one that's black and gray just so I can match it with all my things. And then I want to do really simple peasant style dresses. And I got some really fun, actually I can go get it, one second. Go get it. Okay, so the gray and the black for the one of the stays. And then I've got brown and cream over yonder. And then I have the two dress fabrics and Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm kind of thinking of using like a chemise à la reine as a, as a base pattern-ish, but I really just want to make sure that it's as simple as possible. I want it basically to be a rectangle of fabric that I transform into a dress. I don't want fitting I don't want any of that because what's gonna happen is that it's gonna scare me away from actually sewing and right now I just want to do a fun easy project that has lots of burnt orange in it So for the mock-up of my Modern Stays corset bustier thingamajigger, um, I have all the pieces cut. I have two sets of each piece cut out uh, so that we can have basically a front and a back. And I want to attempt boning in this. That sounded wrong. You know what I'm saying. The pattern doesn't actually call for this, but I want more structure in it. I've never done boning before. That sounds so wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm a child. It doesn't look that difficult. It just looks tedious, which is my favorite. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it a go. 
this is where the grommets are going to go. And this actually doesn't have like, there's no seam allowance needed because I'm actually going to seal it in uh, ribbon basically. So I need to measure out grommets. Uh, I'm not going to put them into the mock-up, but I need to measure out where they would go. And then I basically want the first set of boning channels to follow that here. And then the second set will be on this one, and those will go diagonally here, I think. Yeah. So for the boning, I'm going to use yield zip ties. I'm kind of hoping that they work well enough to use in my final, because uh, I don't want to buy more, but I really just want to use it for the mock-up right now to see how it goes. But to make them a little bit stronger, I'm going to basically tie two together for each boning channel. So I'm going to get started on that. All right, um, I'm really happy with how this is going so far. My biggest problem is this right here. I, uh, I've got a bit of a tummy. <laughs> so what's happening is that the side of this thing is hitting my waist and then it's coming down to a point right here. So it should continue down like this, which I do like the look of, but this aspect of the garment has no structure. So with my little tummy, it's just pushing the little, those little bits up. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually just kind of cut it off at my waistline. Just don't worry about that. Uh, there's that. Um, another problem is this is a little big, so I need to take this down a bit, basically just kind of narrow the straps and then cut it off a little bit higher so that it is uh, more fitting. But besides that, I think the boning is great. It's actually really comfortable. It provides support, but also like I can move in it. I like it. I'm really happy with this. I thought it was going to be too small, um, but the whole point of it is for it to be a little small and then you cinch it up. Um, and this is only two layers of fabric, but the final is going to be four layers of fabric, so I'm not really worried about anything like that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make some minor tweaks and then just start on my final fabric because this is great. I'm really happy with this. Okay. 
Oh, and this, this little thing, yeah, that's because my, my little tummy is, uh, is pushing those up and I didn't sew them down because I might have had to take them out, you know? So, so that's what's going on here. Alright, I am back home. Obviously I took a quick jaunt to my sister's to say hi. Uh, and then I cut out my fabric because it's easier to cut it out there. And now it's like 9pm but I'm in the mood to continue working on this. So I'm going to go ahead and mark out where I need to sew the um, boning channels. And then I'm going to just start putting it together. Ugh. All right. Um, it's about blah, 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 blah. it has been about twenty four hours since I saw y'all last. So last night I got the black side of this corset thing done, and now I'm working on the gray side. That's all I really want to get done tonight. It's something pretty straightforward, something I can zone out and work on. Um, after that, I can connect the two, but I probably won't be working on that tonight. Uh, so just getting gray side done. That's what I'm going to do.
All right, boning channels have all been sewn in, and now I get to work on cleaning up everything else. Yay. All right, so originally I was going to be cheap and lazy since the zip ties worked pretty well in the, the, the mock-up. But then I was putting them into the final and I was just like, I kind of want real boning. So I'm going to go to the fancy, the, the fancy fabric store and see if they have any. But since the fabric store isn't open yet and I really want to be productive right now, I'm going to go ahead and start on working on the mock-up for the dresses that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Okay, so literally a rectangle with some semi armholes ish. Since I don't want this dress to come up all the way, I just kind of want it to be straight across down here. I don't want to create like full on arm holes. <laughs> so, and I don't want to deal with that. So, I just made like half ones. We'll see how this goes. I'm totally making this up. I did no research. There's really no logic involved in this. It's just me going willy-nilly. So now I need to go ahead and make two lines straight across, one for the under bust and one for the waist. And I want to put a little bit of a ruffle at the top, but I'm not sure I left enough space for that. So we'll, we'll see. This is just a test run. So, I made a sheet. Ta-da! All right, it looks ridiculous, um, and it looks massive, but actually, I think it's coming along pretty good. So what I need to do is I need to cinch the top, obviously, and then do the, the bust line, and then the waistline cinching. I know it looks like this is just a giant bag, uh, and if this goes poorly, then I, I, have, I have a bag for potatoes. But I'm actually, I, I'm encouraged. Like I feel like it looks ridiculous, but I think, I think it's gonna go well. So we're gonna give it a go.
<laughs> All right, so here we are. It's very sexy, I know. Um, one second. <coughs> okay, so what I did last night is I just did a simple running stitch through the waist and the bust line and this and that, whatever. Uh, just with some thick like cotton twine just to kind of get a feel for what it looks like because I didn't want to deal with elastic right now. Uh, no, I'm going to save that hell for the final. Yeah. I'm not upset with this. I'm actually quite happy with how it's turning out, especially for how little effort I've put into this. It's fantastic. I should do this all the time. But I will say that I'm not a huge fan of this puffing. I Actually, it looks kind of nice on the itty bitty little screen on my camera. But in the mirror, and when I'm editing this, I might change my mind because I can actually see it. <laughs> um, but I, I do feel like this puffs out a bit, and I think that I should take this distance between these two. I think I should decrease that just a little bit um, so that it doesn't puff so much when I move. But I also have a thought. I think I'm going to take these out and just test it without the gathering here. I know that sounds ridiculous and like I'd be wearing a bag. Uh, basically it'd be, you know, like a chemise, it'd be like a nightgown. But the idea is, is that I'm always going to be wearing something over it, like my stays or a belt or something along those lines. So if I constantly have something over it, that I don't necessarily need this. So I'm going to go ahead and take this gathering out and test it with my mock-up stays. And then I'll figure out what I want to do from that point on. I can't see. Yeah. That one's staying. It's staying. This is, uh, this is real great. It's real great. I am so happy with this. It looks like a hot mess, probably to most people, but I'm really happy with how this looks. So, doing more work. I'm gonna just not do all the gathering. It's just gonna have this at the top. That's it. Now, obviously, there are still the problems that my stays originally had. This, this is a little too much and this and it's wrinkling and it's fine whatever I fixed those in the final we're good but I am very content with how the stays corset thing whatever uh look on top of this dress uh yeah that's all I really have to say I like how it looks I'm gonna do it there are definitely things I need to fix. I do think maybe I want to play with the sleeves. I don't know. At first I was like, you know, if I, with these sleeves, if I have a bra on, they're a little too far. Obviously you can see it, but with the stays, I don't need a bra. So that's not a big problem. But when I'm not wearing the stays, I'm just like, Lord knows I will never wear a strapless bra. That is the devil. So no. I don't know. I have to think on it. I think I'm going to have another cup of coffee and contemplate my life. But as far as this, I think we're good. 
I feel like I'm in a fairy tale and that's really just my goal in life. Well, my goal in life is, is to be in Middle Earth. I'm gonna go now. Okay, bye.